it's Angel. Today I am super excited to share with you one of my favorite Taiwanese breakfasts, which is homemade soy milk. Now when I go back to Taiwan, I always like to have soy milk for breakfast and there are a lot of street vendors out there that sell homemade soy milk. And it's served with things like Chinese donut, which is also very delicious, and you can usually order it sweet or salty. Now I love the sweet version, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make sweet soy milk, which is also known in Mandarin as tian dou jiang. So with that, let's get started on the ingredients. For this recipe, we'll need three simple ingredients. I'm starting with one cup of organic soybeans. Try to look for the organic kind if you can, because I noticed that the organic soybeans look a little bit better than the regular ones. We'll also need four cups of filtered water, and about three tablespoons of organic cane sugar. Now feel free to use more or less to your liking. Next, start by washing and soaking your soybeans overnight. And I really recommend doing this for at least 10 to 12 hours. Longer is totally okay too. You just wanna make sure that they're soft enough so that we can blend. Now I've gone ahead and soaked this overnight so these ones are soft. Using your hands, rub the soybeans together between your fingers. This will help remove the skins of the soybeans and you'll want to do that as much as possible. Don't worry about getting them all off, just as much as possible is great. Now as you do this, you'll notice that the skins start floating to the top of the water. Just go ahead and skim them off and discard them. Finally, when you're done, discard the water and give it one last rinse. Now that we have our soybeans prepared, go ahead and put all of them into the blender. Add three cups of water. Note that I'm reserving one cup for later. Then go ahead and blend until it's completely blended. Okay, that looks pretty well blended there. So what we're going to do now is get a cheesecloth lined large bowl and we're going to pour this into the bowl and basically strain out the soy milk. Now you can also use a nut bag if you have one of those, but I'm going to go ahead and use a cheesecloth because that's what I have handy today. Now here's where we save the other cup of water. I'm just gonna pour that in there as a way to kind of rinse everything inside this. Make sure we get all that nice soy milk in here. Now comes the fun part. Make sure your hands are clean and we're gonna go ahead and just get in there and squeeze out all the soy milk. It's kind of fun. Okay, that looks pretty good. So when you're done, you can either discard these grounds or use them as compost for your garden, or you can even use this to make a vegetarian dish. Next, transfer your soy milk to a pot and cook over medium-low heat until it boils. Make sure to constantly stir and scrape the bottom of the pan so the milk doesn't burn. As you go, skim off any foam off the top with a spoon. Finally, add and mix in your cane sugar until it's completely dissolved. Then let it simmer and cook for three to five minutes. Once you're done, transfer the soy milk to a bowl and serve it hot with the spoon. So this is how you make a sweet homemade soy milk, which I personally like eating with Chinese donut. I made some Chinese donut earlier, and if you guys want to see me make this, do give me a thumbs up and post in the comments below letting me know that you want to see a Chinese donut recipe. But I like eating my Chinese donut and soy milk by first dipping the Chinese donut into the soy milk. Then taking a bite. Mm. It's really good. I love the saltiness of the Chinese donut and the sweetness of the soy milk. I'm just gonna have another sip here. 
I hope you guys like this video, and as an added bonus, I will dedicate my next video to those of you who would ask me to please make a sweet Asian tofu dessert. Some of you in social media have reached out and asked me how to make that, so I will dedicate that video for you. So with that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Angel Wong's Kitchen, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!